Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, your CNC router bit supply company. Have you ever tried to figure out how to center your CNC router on a round piece of board? For example, I carved out this Jeep sign. Don't follow me, you won't make it, which is the truth as a Jeep owner. But I've gotten requests from many CNC router owners of how do you find the center of a round piece of stock so you can start carving from that. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. It's very simple. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take a round piece of something or other, which is, this is a piece of mat board, and I am gonna show you how to find the XY center of this round piece of stock. I have this round piece of mat board here because I don't have a round board right now, so, but the principle works the same. The first thing we need to know is the size of it, of course. So the diameter of this round piece of stock is 12 inches. And we are gonna take that and place it on our CNC router. Now you notice I have grid lines on my CNC router. And this is one of the reasons you want grid lines on your machine. Well, there's two reasons. Number one is to find the center of projects like this, but it also helps you to square up your projects when you're getting ready to carve them, like I'm gonna do here as I'm getting ready to shoot a video with this roundover bit from IDC Woodcraft. So here's how we start. What we'll do is we'll take this board, this, this round piece of wood, pretend wood, and we're gonna put the one edge on the grid line. And we'll take the other edge over here and put it on the grid line as well. Now I know that this grid is two inches by two inches. So that is going to help me out a ton. So basically the center of this board is six inches up from this grid line and six inches over from this grid line. So all we have to do is in our control software is actually find the corner where these two lines meet, which is right over here, bring the camera right here, which is right here. And we need to bring the machine over to here and then we're gonna move it over six inches and move it up six inches by manually commanding our, our control software to tell the CNC router to move. So I'm gonna jump into G Center and show you exactly how to do that. G Center is the control software I use, but you can do this in any of your control software as long as it has a function called a console or an MDI. MDI stands for Manual Data Interface where you can actually type in G code. So we're gonna get into G Center. I'm gonna show you the G code that we'll type in and then we'll get this taken care of. So let's get the G Center. So the first thing we have to do is actually move the machine to exactly the point that we want it to go. So I'm going to bring it over relatively close to those cross lines. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a V-bit, just like this here. We're gonna use the IDC Woodcraft Ultra Smooth Cutting 60 Degree V-bit. And we're gonna use the point as our reference on these grid lines. So here's what we'll do. If you notice, I got something here that is kind of unusual for the Makita trim router. It's called the muscle chuck, and it's a super fast way to change out your CNC router bits. If you're interested in getting the muscle chuck, I'll put a link down below. Watch, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So I got a bit in here right now. I'm going to loosen it up. I'm going to take that bit out, and I'm going to put this V bit in just like that. And bam, that's all done. So. <laughs> If you got a Makita router, then uh, you may want to get this muscle chuck. You'll also want to get this 1 8 collet adapter that goes with it. Uh, both are available on IDC Woodcraft. We'll, we'll link that down below. I'm going to bring this point to this grid line. I'm going to take her down close to it. Now when you're doing this, you'll obviously want to be careful because you don't want to drive your bit into the spoil board. Now I've gotten very close and we're exactly where I want. And this is gonna be an eyeball move. And looking super, super close at this. And now I'm set up on my X line. So in the G-Sender software, I'm going to set the 
Let's see, this is going in the X direction, so I'm setting the X zero right now, manually. And now that is set. And so now I'm going to bring it over to the Y line. Now I moved it over because I got these holes, and I can't find the center on the holes. So we'll just come back just a hair. And there it is. I'm going to, in the G-Sender software, set the zero. And now I can go to X, Y, zero. Just like that. And you can see now we are at the center of this cross line. And I'm going to eyeball this way down low. And then eyeball over this way, way down low. We've got it. I'm very happy with what I've got. And so now we're going to get in the G sender and I'm going to move the machine exactly six inches in the X direction and the Y direction. So in G sender, we want to come to this lower left control area where it says probe, mic uh, macros, console, and says coolant. We're going to go to console. And in this part, we're going to type in some very specific G code. Now, in this G code, if you're in metric, I'll explain to you what to do. It's going to be just a tad different than what you will do in inches. So in the uh, G Sender software, we, you see that we have this, uh, some G code in the, the uh, screen there. So that is the last G code that G Sender had read. What we're going to do is come down to the enter G code here. Now, in your general CNC control software, again, you may have a space that says MDI. That's Manual Data Interface. That's where you're going to type in that code. So here's what we're going to type in. We're going to type in the letter G and the number zero. Very, very important that it's a number. And then we're going to type in X, X 6.0, then Y. 6.0 and now we are going to type in whether we're doing this in inches or in millimeters. So we're going to type in G20. Now G20 is telling the machine we are moving in inches. So what we've just said with the G0, this is a rapid move. The X and Y 6 plus 6 plus are in the positive direction. And then the G20 is telling us it's going to be in inches. If you're in metric, you want to use G21 instead of G20. So we've got that typed in. Now I'm going to move this board out of the way because I don't want to hit anything. Normally you're going to move it up and make, you just want to make sure that the bit is clear from the project that, you're, that you just set your reference off of. We're going to hit execute, right? That's run. It's run. And watch the machine. And here we go. And that's it. We have just moved ourselves exactly to the center of this. I have to move this up just a little bit. Based off of these two reference lines, we are exactly at six inches in, six inches in. We are on center of this piece of round stock. And that, my friend, is exactly how you do that. So I'm going to put in the description of this video the code that you would use and how to use it uh, for different size boards. Uh, for example, the X and the Y. It's a very basic code. So if this was helpful, then give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the video, and we will talk to you later. Keep staying creative. IDC Woodcraft dot com.